chemistry explains literally everything that is happening around you. The dry ice is taking the thermal energy from the water. Unfortunately, I instantaneously get judged on my appearance. That is very frustrating for me. So I'm gonna pick up my hot water. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to throw it right into my bucket, okay? It means I have to work harder, but at the end, it is so, so incredibly worth it. And one. My name is Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, and I'm a lecturer at the University of Texas at Austin. I'm trying to break the stigma of what a stereotypical scientist looks like. So my thing is I am not wearing a bow tie, I'm not wearing suspenders, I don't have some frumpy cardigan on. I'm just some regular girl who likes to play with fire, and I also really like designer shoes, and that's okay. As the alginate hits the calcium chloride, the alginate would prefer to be with the two plus charged calcium instead of the one plus charged sodium, and what happens is we form gummy worms. Doesn't matter what you look like, any human can be a scientist. I definitely try to use energy and excitement. I love this one. <laughs> I do my best to try to reach students that might be intimidated by science. I use anything that will make the 483 students sit up straight and actually listen to the words coming out of your mouth. As soon as I've exploded something in their face, I have their attention for just 60 seconds and I can do whatever I can to shove that knowledge right into their brains. Ah, yay! <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do today is doing some chemistry. We're gonna do three different hands-on experiments. I find chemistry to be an incredibly challenging topic. Pour your water, pour your water. Beautiful, now keep watching, keep watching. I'm so sick of the stereotypical female scientists, and we can do things other than biology, by the way. Chemistry, physics, engineering, we can do it. Look at what you made! The fact that I've been able to master it, but then use science to start the conversation, but then physically stand there and break that image, it's the most rewarding thing I could ever do, ever.